Welcome to the Folktale Project. This is Dan Scholes. Today we have not a folktale um, for this week in the spirit of Halloween, which was this past Tuesday. I thought we'd do a reading from a historical document. This is from the Codex German, written in August of 1629. This is The Witch Persecution at Würzburg. As to the affair of the witches, which your grace thinks brought to an end before this, it has started afresh, and no words can do justice to it. Ah, the woe and the misery of it! There are still four hundred in the city, high and low, of every rank and sex, nay, even clerics, so strongly accused that they may be arrested at any hour. It is true that of the people of my gracious prince here, some out of all offices and faculties must be executed. Clerics, electoral counselors and doctors, city officials, court assessors, several of whom your grace knows. There are law students to be arrested. The prince bishop has over forty students who are soon to be pastors. Among them, thirteen or fourteen are said to be witches. A few days ago, a dean was arrested. Two others who were summoned have fled. The notary of our church consistory, a very learned man, was yesterday arrested and put to the torture. In a word, a third of the city is surely involved. The richest, most attractive, most prominent of the clergy are already executed. A week ago, a maiden of nineteen was executed, of whom it is everywhere said that she was the fairest in the whole city, and was held by everybody a girl of singular modesty and purity. She will be followed by seven or eight others of the best and most attractive persons, and thus many are put to death for renouncing God and being at the witch dances, against whom nobody has ever spoken a word. To conclude this wretched matter, there are children of three and four years, to the number of three hundred, who are said to have had intercourse with the devil. I have seen put to death children of seven, promising students of ten, twelve, fourteen, and fifteen. Of the nobles, but I cannot and must not write more of this misery. There are persons of yet higher rank whom you know and would marvel to hear of, nay, would scarcely believe it. Let justice be done. Postscript Though there are many wonderful and terrible things happening, it is beyond doubt that at a place called the Fra Rengberg, the devil in person with eight thousand of his followers held an assembly and celebrated mass before them all, administering to his audience, that is, the witches, turnip rinds and parings in place of the Holy Eucharist. There took place not only foul, but most horrible and hideous blasphemies, whereof I shudder to write. It is also true that they all vowed not to be enrolled in the Book of Life, but all agreed to be inscribed by a notary who is well known to me and my colleagues. We hope, too, that the book in which they are enrolled will yet be found, and there is no little search being made for it. And that is from the Codex German, The Witch Persecution at Würzburg, from 1629. It's good to remember that hysteria can happen en masse, and when it does, some very, very terrible things can happen. This is Dan Schulz for The Folktale Project. Don't forget that you can subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, 
Stitcher, Google Play, Overcast, anywhere you like to get your podcasts. You can also follow us on Twitter at Folktale Project. You can find us on Auto Radio and TuneIn Radio and iHeart Radio. And you can always head over to folktaleproject.com where you'll find a new story waiting for you every weekday morning. Thanks for listening. <laughs>